Alright, so today I'm going to be reviewing Charlotte from the series Infinite Stratos. And this is manufactured by Kotobuki. I believe they're making a whole line of all the girls in their bunny outfit. And the next one up is Laura, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Laura. So, let's get on to the review of this video. So, let's get a closer look at her. Overall, her scope is done very well. Great job on Kotobuki's part on the scope. And as you can see, these are real fishnets. And the base is actually like kind of like a furry thing, carpet thing. I guess that's the best way I can describe it. So there are some few issues I would like to talk about on this figure. Okay, first off, the most popular and most pretty much huge complaint about this figure is the stitching on her leggings on the back. Now, I don't know why Kotobuki went with this. I'm pretty sure it's possible to have it done more neatly because as you can see on, you know, her name, Haruhi Suzumiya, she doesn't have that issue, and that's a much older figure. So, I don't know what were they thinking going with this kind of like you know design. Seems pretty solid with them. Hopefully, in the rest of their line of all the bunny girls of Infinite Straddles, they can fix this issue. So, that's one of the major complaints of this figure. Second off, for me personally, I think the necklace is a little flimsy in my opinion and done a little sloppy. As you can see, it's not even kind of trimmed, it's pretty much like the tie where the knot is, it's done really softly. And it's kind of pain in the ass to put it on first time. But, yep, that's some of my personal issues on with this figure. Sorry about that, that was actually the mailman delivering another figure that I ordered previously. So, anyways, and my last issue with this figure is basically two of these bunnies. Now, they just sit on the base. Now, the issue is the base. It, they're very loose. I mean, of course they're loose because they're not connected to anything. But they usually tip over, you know, very easily. So that's my only tiny complaint on the little bunnies right here. The other two, this one's connected by a magnet. So you pretty much just, there you go, on her thighs. <laughs> and the other one connects to a peg right there. So, let me give you guys a closer look. But other than that, I, I absolutely love this figure. I think it's great. And I'm glad that Kodobu is going to do a whole line on her. And I just hope they fix that stitching issue. That's like, I don't know, pretty ugly in my opinion. <laughs> but again, pretty much everyone's got a poser from the front, obviously. But yeah, overall, I love the surgery. I think it's great. Other than those three, three issues that I mentioned. And just to give you guys a closer look. The, fish, the fishnets are actually done pretty well on the front, obviously. And she just connects to the peg, basically. And yeah, that's about it. Nothing much else to talk about. So, that's all I gotta say about this particular figure. If you're a fan of the Infinite Straddle series, or just a fan of Charlotte, she's a pretty popular character. Feel free to give this figure a look. And of course, if you're, you want to get the whole line, they're going to have it available soon. I'm pretty sure they're going to have it available. I mean, the only release the next scope for Laura, but I'm pretty sure they're going to have the whole line because there's an illustration of all the girls in their bunny outfits. So, that's my review on Kotobuki's Charlotte. I'll see you guys next time.